It's day 35 of quarantine and things are ramping up, man. But for right now, let's take a second to relax and try to have fun, even just a little bit. We're on the couch now. I'm wearing an anime sweater. We're just gonna vibe together, man. I got my wine glass full of vibes. My, look how, <laughs> look how big this thing is. And we're gonna forget about the bad things going on right now and replace them with bad things from the past. This was the OG way of social distancing. Swag. Look at this. Which one's worse? Which one? Exactly. Welcome to the official world tournament of the worst streetwear trend of all time. Sponsored by Squarespace. Anyways, I have eight contenders here and there can only be one winner. And the judging will be based on three things. Gentrification, as in how gentrified things got and aging as in how badly it aged. And the third and most important one, my opinion. I'm 35 days quarantine, man, and I'm three vibes in, you know, I think it's valid. But welcome to Bad Vibes. I'm your host, Christian. Let's go, let's do this. All right, so starting off, I don't have a structure because <laughs> it's my first time doing this type of video. So we're just gonna vibe on through and hope for the best. Okay, so coming up as the first round, we got the CDG players, get it? CDG players versus the Fog Gang. So CDG players, by this I mean the people that would just wear the heart on everything. So everyone really took it for a ride and was like, oh, look at me. Look at me. I, do you even know what the CDG heart means? So what does the CDG heart mean? And it went on for a while. A lot of people were just drawing these on things. Bro. Oh, oh no. Vibes. I don't think I had a... All right. So I'm editing this and I realize I eat this the whole video, so my lips get red. And I'm just letting you know ahead of time because my lips will get red. Ah. I care of CDG Converse, but I did have a CDG shirt that I wore all the time and I thought it was so cool. I was like, it's like polo, but it's cooler because it's a heart and I'm a soft boy and I don't ride horses, I have a heart. So gentrification, I think a lot of people took into it. Like if I were to take this scene again and do this, it seems right because everyone was wearing the heart at some point. And what does it mean? What does it even mean? I still don't know what it means. And it wasn't really necessarily a style. It was kind of just a brand thing. So in terms of aging, you still see the converse everywhere. So I think it has aged kind of, even though it's a meme within like Reddit and like fashion, Instagram and YouTube stuff, I think just generally speaking, a lot of people still wear the Converse and it's totally fine. I mean, like my friends that live normal lives and don't spend all their time on Reddit or streetwear that wear it, I'm like, dude, yeah, go for it. You know, you have other redeeming qualities that don't consist of making fashion memes and then wearing Rick Owens, you know? Shouts out to my friends. And competing with it, we got the Fog Gang, which is the Jerry Boys. The fear of gang. This was so big. I remember H and when H and M pulled up with zipper pants, and it was just like not the world was not the same. This might have been like the thing to go from cool to gentrified the fastest. This might be one of the most gentrified trends of all time. And when I say gentrified, I really mean commercialized, but gentrified just seems funnier because it's like I'm talking about houses, but it's just clothes. And honestly, for a brand that cost it so much, this was like one of those times where I was looking at the prices of clothes and I was like, oh my God, fear of God. Maybe that's why it's called fear of God. Just look at the price and you're like, oh my God, that scary fear of God. So I guess the Cheap adaptations were necessary, but it also proceeded to be the most commercialized trend because it did look cool. Now, it was kind of cool at the time. I totally forgot we were talking about how bad these things were. Anyways, this was annoying. In terms of aging, I think the look, like just the overall like zipper pants with long line tees, it's still around, but it's nowhere near as big as it used to be. But it has influenced a lot. On the back to the battle, if we're comparing the two, and I had to pick one that was worse, because you gotta remember, this is about the worst streetwear trend, not about the best. I think the CDG players trend was worse because the Fear of God one wasn't that bad. It was just very gentrified. So final result for battle one, I thought that CDG, the CDG players were worse than the Fog Gang. All right, so the next battle is the Supreme Team versus the Boost Boys. Okay. So this is big. This is like the Patriots versus the Golden State Warriors. All right, so Supreme. And when I say Supreme team, I mean people that just like only 
Supreme everything. Supreme is life, but I'm talking about people that waited in line. <gasps> Just this stuff. Oh my God, I thought this stuff was... You know what I mean? <laughs> Supreme crowbar. crowbar. Supreme has done too much good. So we're gonna discount the good for a bit. We're just gonna talk about the bad stuff like this. So, all right, gang. All right, gang. What was the bad things about Supreme? Gentrification? This is, okay, forget the whole thing I said about fear of God. This is the most gentrified thing of all time. And I won't lie, I'll be the first one to admit, when I first started wearing Supreme, I did not skate. I definitely can't call myself a skater now either. So who am I to talk actually? For You know what, let's just cancel me. In terms of aging, people are still hot over this. And in my opinion, I think it's cycled in and out of being like cool and then it's like, okay, I like Supreme again. Okay, never mind, I don't like Supreme anymore. Oh, I like Supreme again. Okay, never mind, I don't like Supreme anymore. Kids like it. Oh wait, never mind. I like Supreme again. Okay, never mind. The kids are back on. So it's happened so much to her. I don't really know where it's at now. So in my opinion, the being annoying and all the kids being on it was definitely necessary. All right, coming up next, we got the Boost Boys. Okay, so what do I mean by Boost Boys? This was me. I was on this. I was definitely a Boost Boy. My nipples would get so hard for Boost. And I'm talking about the nipples on the Boost. If there were nipples on the Boost, my nipples were also on. My nipples were boost. But I was on this as soon as this came out. When I first saw Kanye jumping in Ultra Boost, I was like, hey, okay. I know I don't go to the gym all the time, but I'm about to so I can make an excuse to wear these cool Ultra Boosts. And then I spent $180 on the triple whites and I was like, yo, dude, life is different. Life is kind of hitting different right now. I'm wearing boosts now. I was hyped on it, okay? I'll admit it. I even lost a hundred pounds on this. So I'm still kind of the thicky boy right now, as we can see, but I'll put up the Costco card picture right now because it's the only thing I have. I lost a hundred pounds on these boost boys. So, so I'm definitely biased here. Gentrification, damn. So these past three have definitely been the most gentrified things. It's a bona fide workout shoe. Like in terms of like performance, and just lifestyle because you could wear these things all day. I wore these all through college. So everyone was on it, not only for the style. You know, these were really cool shoes. Prime Knit, dude, we got to admit the Yeezys, everyone wanted them. Everyone wanted the Ultra Boost. And like, I remember these cream ones I wanted a raffle and I was so gassed on myself. I was like, oh my God, it's like, who cares about a girlfriend? So it made sense that everyone was on it, but it was annoying. It was annoying. I was part of the annoying. I was on rep sneakers looking at the latest batches of Yeezy Boost coming from the factories. So I'm definitely the problem here. Let's get back on it, gang. So how do we cancel Christian? Anyways, aging. So definitely the Ultra Boost has died. The Yeezys too. In terms of hype, the Yeezys have died a lot. If I'm being completely honest, I don't really use Boost anymore anyways. Oh, so if I had to pick one that was worse, I think it's a oh, no. was worse. Okay, so hear me out. Boost was everywhere and it was definitely oversaturated with models and stuff, but it wasn't like annoying, you know? But Supreme was, you know, <laughs> Supreme was def definitely like, so I think I might have to roll with Supreme being worse. So battle number two is the Supreme team versus the Boost Boys. I think the Supreme team edges them out and I think the Supreme team was worse. All right, coming up on battle three, we got the Luxury Lads versus, I'm gonna let my boy Keith Ape take over. So luxury and high-end stuff, it's like, it's its own genre of fashion, but I'm talking about the people that walk into the store, find the thing that's the cheapest, that's not a sock and wear it every day. Like, I don't think I have enough money to talk about luxury fashion in general. You know, as you can see, kind of rolling on a budget here. But more than anything, I think this is definitely the, look at all the money I don't have. Gentrification, it's expensive, but a lot of people were on it. And the people that were on it were not the biggest fans of. I mean, if you're the biggest fan of this guy, then, I mean, who am I to talk? Look at this. look what I'm doing right now. Like this shirt, everyone had this shirt. Everyone had this shirt. This was annoying too. I thought this was, I want, okay. But yeah, in aging, I think this is definitely gonna last a while because it's like, who needs taste when Balenciaga? But in my opinion, I don't know. I really like crap that just is very self-expressive. Like, look at this. Look at my anime sweater. This is from Ruff Simmons, which, Hilarious. Also New York based. Shout out the homies. Please hook me up. Your stuff is expensive and I'm broke. I have this tattoo. I'm going to flip it so you can see it. Look at that. Bam. That's my girl on the shirt. So I don't know. This is just me. I really like self-expressive stuff. If you're wearing something like this, 
and it's dressed with some minimal denim. You know what? We're just gonna duo cue. If it's paired with some minimal denim and some CDG Converse's and you're wearing a Gucci shirt, but that's my opinion. You know, I really like self-expression. Battling our luxury lads, we got the bait, 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 bait. Okay, so before I get heat for this, there is a big difference between OG babe heads and bait, 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 bait people. When I'm talking about bait, 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 I'm talking about this. Oh my. Or this. People that zip the hoodie up. So this is scary. You know, this. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to open up another, if you know what I mean. That was just, this did not happen. This was also, it's like, this was like Supreme part two, because, well, for me, at least, when I first found Supreme, I was like, oh, cool. Let's look into some other brands. Bape was like right up the alley. And I really thought the shark was cool. I had a Bape hoodie at one point. <clears throat> I sold it on Grail. This was my listing. I had this exact hoodie. And I remember wearing the Bape mask to a festival. So here I am talking. I'm talking on all of these because I think I've done all of these. So there's my credibility for this whole video. But for Bape on gentrification. So this didn't get as big as Supreme, but it was definitely like if you got into Supreme and you still really like streetwear, you would definitely find yourself into Bape. And it also kind of got to the point where everything camo, everyone thought it was, ooh, that's Bape. It's just camo. In terms of age, I think Bape in a weird way, it's kind of timeless because it's like, it's so iconic. The word iconic has been diluted. And it's almost pretentious. I mean, it's gotta happen. Whenever you see camo, a thought comes into your head like, Bape? Bape? Especially colored camo. Oh, speak. Okay, I'm gonna take a tangent real quick. Y'all remember this? Dude, this reminded me of four logos. People just had four logo legs. Anyways, going back to Bape, when you see colored camo, you instantly think Bape. So it was definitely, it's definitely aged well. And there's definitely sects where it's annoying, like Bape shark shorts on everything matched and then color coordinated with Bape t-shirts. Oh, you wanna be the four loco. Be the four loco. Be the four loco. I don't know, I might just buy a Bape shark hoodie and zip it all the way up and just contradict myself. Which of the trends is worse? I'm gonna have to say, I think the luxury lads are gonna have to take this one. I genuinely think that people wearing Gucci shirts with minimal denim is a lot worse than people liking Bape. So, we're gonna have to give the point to the luxury lads. Okay, the last battle on the first round, we got Swag Life versus the E-Boy Band. Okay, Swag Life. You have to know what this is. This is the bane of streetwear. I remember the first time I saw someone wearing a Diamond Supply Co t-shirt with a Chicago Bull snapback, and I was like, oh my God, how many girlfriends does he have? How many girlfriends does he have? Is he friends with Tyga? Dude, I was like so obsessed with this. This was what got, without this, I would not have a channel. So right off the bat, this is key for me. <laughs> this is key for me. This, I used to dress like this. I had a good one. This was also, well, at least from what I've seen, definitely one of the first streetwear trends to be like, whoa, everyone's on this. So gentrification, big. I remember going into Zoomies for fun. I would walk into Zoomies just looking around. It was like Obey, Diamond Supply Co., The Hundreds, Black Scale, Crooks and Castles. Oh my God, I can smell the Zoomies. It's like I'm here. Does anyone smell that? In terms of aging, it was 10 year, 10 years ago. 2010 was 10 years ago. 2010 was 10 years ago. What the hell? That was the last time I had a ring pop too. So obviously it's not gonna age as hot as something that happened like five years ago. So I don't really know how it compares, but in my opinion, this was key. And it's it's battling with the e-boy band, which is kind of happening right now. So I, I made it random in terms of what trend is competing with what. And ironically, the swag life is competing with the e-boy band, which is like the past versus the present. In the e-boy band, I'm talking about this. Oh my God, why are they so attractive too? But this trend is everywhere. This is a fashion, it was a TikTok thing. Now it's a fashion thing. Everyone's doing this, or at least a lot of people are doing this. The chains, the striped shirts. I don't think it's as big as it was like last year, but it's still definitely a big thing. And it hit hard, but it hit fast. 
So gentrification, TikTok is everywhere, still is everywhere. And a lot of people on TikTok dress like this. And I'm sure there are a lot of kids that dress like this. Well, not anymore because no one's dressing up right now because I've been in the house. Who knows how long I've been wearing this sweater? You know, you guys don't know how long it's been since I showered. But no one's dressing up right now. So who's to tell how this trend is going? But in terms of how hard it hit and how many people were doing it, I, it's, it's almost like I instantly saw everyone doing this. So it definitely hit hard, hit fast, hit everyone. Because if you think about it, all the pieces that you need to dress like this are pretty cheap. Vans, old schools, chinos, vintage tees, striped tees. Look at that. Look at that. You don't even need to pay that much. But I can't see it aging because it's so niche. It's so much of a trend. It's so trendy. But I think there are tropes of it that are going to age well. Like, I'm happy that accessories are trend. Like, look at this. Come on. Like, the e-boy trend definitely did not influence me wearing accessories. But I'm happy that a lot of people are hopping on it now. Because I know a lot of people find it uncomfortable to wear, like, rings and stuff. Because it's, like, feminine. But I love wearing rings. And I love feminine stuff, too. Anyways, if I had to compare the two... Oh, this is hard because one's such an icon of the past and one's happening right now. But if I had to pick one that was worse... Okay, I'm just speaking on what's probably gonna happen, but I think the e-boy trend is worse. I think the e-boy ban... When time goes on, I think the e-boy ban is gonna be bad in retrospect. So coming up next on the semifinals, we got the CDG players versus the Supreme team. So it's a clash of red. What does the heart mean? What is a floating E? Who knows? Whoa. Hey, gang, what do you guys think? So Supreme worse than CBG. Well, we're about to find out. So we've discussed the tropes of both. We've gotten over the hill. Now we just got to compare the two and see which one's worse. So CDG, annoying because everyone drew the heart on everything. But it's the same thing with Supreme where you would slap a Supreme sticker on your MacBook Pro and it's like, oh my God, where are all my girlfriends? By the way, clean MacBook Pro back, by the way. I have yet to put a Supreme sticker on it. And I'm very proud because it's really hard not doing it. You know what I mean? Like if I ever have a kid, you know how hard it's going to be to not name my kid Supreme? I got to relax on my... For comparing the CDG players, CDG players are people that think they're ahead of the curve and are like, I'm very... Okay, wait. No. 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 Cool. Perfect. All right. Play the music. Bam. All right. So we're in the zone. We're... It's French. It's You got people that think they're ahead of the curve and classier because they have Comme des Garcons on their chest. And then you're going against people that are like, got Supreme on my chest, man. Who cares? Or if you're from New York, you're just running away from this guy. So anyways, if I'm comparing the two, I don't think I can call Supreme worse than the CDG players because Supreme had a lot of good to outweigh the bad. And it's... And there's, it's easier to meme CDG. If I had to pick one to win the semifinals for the worst streetwear trend without any dignified reasoning, it would be the CDG players. There's a heart on my converse. Where is my girlfriend? But Supreme has a lot of hold in the culture. And it was a great gateway for a lot of people into streetwear culture. But for CDG, it's like, I can't really find a reason as opposed to, it's the heart, you know? So I think it's just me really not finding some sort of a s artistic association, you know? Okay, so coming into the semifinals for the left... Oh, crap, my camera's gonna die. Hold on. Coming into the semifinals for the le left side, we got the Luxury Lads versus the E-Boy Band. Okay, so we're at war. We got two LA kids. They're actually the same person on a different day. All right, so you got the TikTok star, the really good TikTok star that knows how to do all the cool dances. Renegade, renegade, you know what I mean? And then you got just the guy that's on Instagram with a Range Rover, and he's on Melrose all the time. I'm not gonna say any names, but he's on Melrose. Dude, he's on Melrose all the time. He's so cool. So this one's a close call. So I sat here thinking about my answer for a while, but... For the luxury lads, you got our boy here. He wants to go buy a Gucci hoodie because it says a lot about him. He's going to Melrose. He's driving a Range Rover and he has a lot of money. What do you think he's supposed to wear? And then you got our boy over here who just wants to do the Renegade all day. And it's like, it's so hard. I'm trying so hard to think of my answer. So unlike the e-boy trend, I think the luxury lads are probably going to be around for as long as luxury 
fashion and like high street is around because it's like, it's so easy to wear a logo. But the e-boy band and that like TikTok fashion trend is so fast. Like it's so trendy, it's gonna die fast. I don't know when it's gonna die, but it's not gonna last a long time because it's so niche. It's such a specific look. One's gonna last a while, one's hitting hard fast. But if I'm talking about the whole thing, oh, there's, there's police, hold on. I don't know if that's the police or the ambulance, but I'm in New York, so it's probably the ambulance. So I'm trying to stay inside. I'm doing this video. If I had to pick one, I think I might have to say that. The luxury lads are a little bit more annoying than the e-boys. I'm sorry. I don't know what you guys are rooting for, but the luxury lads definitely more annoying. Cool dance, kind of has more money than you, but, but you're kind of jealous. I'm more jealous of the, why does this guy have more money than me as opposed to renegade, renegade, renegade. I think the luxury lads are a bit more annoying and a bit worse than the e-boy band. All right, so we're in the finals. We're a couple vibes in. I don't know how we got here, but we're here. It's the CDG players versus the luxury lads in the Super Bowl of the worst streetwear trends of all time. We got people that wear their heart on their sleeves. We got people that know how Gucci. to pronounce Gucci. The two Gu C's Gu make it a CH, guys. Gucci. It's Gu Gucci. Gu so I'm gonna preface the final battle with, this is definitely based on my opinion. So I think expressing yourself through a brand is a lot. Like I have a lot planned for Respect Women, but right now it's kind of on hold because of, you know, our boy COVID-19. But yeah, I think now more than ever is the good time to plan what you want to do with your brand. I know a lot of people out there have brands. It's really fun having one. And in 2020, e-commerce is kind of the way. So if you have a brand and you want to make a website, we got to use our sponsor, squarespace.com, the best streetwear trend of all time. Squarespace is the best way for you to make a website for anything you want. With award-winning designer templates, you can make your stuff look cooler than you actually are, which is what we all want in 2020. What do you think about that? I turned myself into a pick. Here you can actually look cool. So go impress people with as little effort as possible. I've talked about this before, but I'm dropping an EP with my band this summer. It's gonna be so much fun whenever that happens. And I'll be building the website for all the interactive stuff on Squarespace for when it launches. It's gonna be cool. I have a lot of stuff lined up for like music videos and crap. It's fun, but I don't know the first thing about web design and code. So my homeboy over here, the double S holds my hand so I don't have to learn. But if you don't care about cool stuff and you just want a bag, <laughs> they have the perfect e-commerce integration for selling through the internet. So it's all there. But also now you have more time than ever to do anything that you've wanted. So you have no excuse. You can get started now by going to squarespace.com slash frugal aesthetic and you get 10% off your first purchase. So go sign up now. The link is in the description and go make your cool website and life can be cool if you want it to. Kind of, maybe. Sign, just go make your website. So what does the heart mean? What does it say about you? CDG Converse, kind of just a cool twist on a classic. Who cares? But we're going head to head, baby. This is hard. We've eliminated a lot of good contenders. We've got kind of two separate ends of the spectrum. We got CDG Converse, which is people that just happen to go to Nordstrom for the first time and are like, oh, these are kind of cool. That Well, that's how I got into it. I, but like, you know, we know about Gucci and Louis Vuitton from our parents or from people, commercials, movies. What trend attracts? the more annoying crowd. You got CDG people drawing the heart on Stan Smith's. It's kind of like, what is this about? You got the luxury lads. They're wearing Balenciaga. Oh, Balenci's? Lil Uzi said it in that song 10 times. Sure has to be cool. So going into that, I'm gonna get a drum roll. I'm gonna let the drum roll. I'm gonna finish my drink first. The most annoying trend. The most annoying streetwear trend of all time. Up to now, up to 2020. April, it's gotta be the luxury lads. Oh my God. The luxury lads have to take it on. This is the most annoying crowd. I think that the most annoying thing and the worst trend of streetwear is buying your way into looking cool. Again, going back to what I said about fashion being like, kind of like expressive for me. I really like expressing myself through fashion. One of my favorite things to buy is artist merch. Like I'll go to a show and just buy merch because I'm like, I really like this artist. I'm gonna buy merch, even if it's not necessarily good or cool. Like I wanna express myself through this shirt. And if someone's wearing a Gucci shirt or like a really gouty luxury brand like logo shirt or hoodie, 
I instantly think like, oh man, this guy really wants me to think they're cool and they brush their teeth and floss and like sleep at a reasonable time and stuff. Like I get a weird preconceived notion. Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just the way I see fashion, but hey, who knows? So thank you so much for watching the video. I don't know how this is gonna turn out because it's my first time doing this. And I'm 35 days into quarantine, so I'm kind of not okay. But yeah, uh, you can follow me on Instagram at ChristianVUI right here. I haven't posted in a while, but I post funny stories, so follow me for that. I have an EP coming for music. That's kind of exciting. Podcast? Podcast. But anyways, I don't know how long this video is, but thank you for watching. If you want to see more like this, comment, because I'm probably not going to do it because this was long. So thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.